Hello, Matt here from Antisocial Gaming. Blah, let's play some Portal 2. I'm gonna skip an intro. New game. This game is hilarious. I love it. And I can't wait to release it. New Fallout. Out right now. Check it out. Because it only has one view. Aha. Uh -huh. Blah. Whiteness. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Well, if that's what you want. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. <gasps> you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, the look ceiling. down at the floor. Oh. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Oh, hell no! Oh, hell... Let me out of here. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. I do. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. That was nice. That was beautiful. Good. Now, please return to your bed. No, I don't want to sleep. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine... Nine, nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Should vacate the Hello? Immediately. Any test Are you going to open the door? At this time. Any time? No. Exercised his or her I don't want to go anywhere near that door. Relaxation. Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. No, nothing's urgent enough. What's on the just television? Open the door. That's too much of this message. Hey, it's different. It's different. Why not open the door? Oh, my body is literally imprinted on the bed. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta... No, um... Fine. No, fine. absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help <laughs> them escape. Because you don't. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. It's not. All right. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look... Te um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Uh, nice. Up to you. Hang on to something. Hang on to something. Stand in the closet. Get in the closet. You're right down there. Or not. Stand can right you here. Hear me? Stand right here. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration what do you after mean? a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. That's not but good. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Da do you understand what I'm saying da at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Sure. Dang. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Jumping is not the same thing as saying apple. All reactor core Maybe. safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Uh-huh. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Well, I don't know. The walls are collapsing the around me, and power I don't ran know. Out. So, of course, the whole relaxation well. center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, yeah. Just, just gotta get through here. Yeah, gonna I just gotta concentrate. 
Uh, and whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so no, I hear that one. I hear that one. Um, you are going to get us killed. Just saying. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. Oh, There's a piece of equipment in there go that there. we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready! Good news! That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Oh, that's so technical, bro. Almost so technical. there! Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support awesome. so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Emergency testing. <gasps> That's what I look like. Girl. Yeah, I'm a girl. So? Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grade, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. Well, guys. Uh, it looks like we're loading. I do like loading screens. They make me wet. No, they don't. That's if you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh! That's pleasant. What does this button do? Nothing. Oh wait. I'm an idiot. Let's just go open this sucker. Get in here. Take this. Come over here. Open this one. Grab the cube again. Move it over here and put it on there. Alright. Open this portal, and then we go right through over here. Yeah. Good. So smart. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Awesome. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture <laughs> Science Reintegration no. Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. No, thank you. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Where did you go? <laughs> Scary. Hey, hey! You made it! Oh, hey. What's there should up? be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Oh. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? It's not here. Oh, oh boss. Hello? Can you 
Can you see the portal gun? Oh, I can. Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Okay. Well then. What's in here? Bad stuff. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. To share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is going to end up being a long video, I can already tell, because I don't want to stop playing. <laughs> okay. This is the last one, I promise. This, the last one. this next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Well, thank you. Well, that's that's a little disappointing. I gotta say. Okay. Wow, that was an easy test. That was not life threatening at all. Liar. Uh, alright. Ha <laughs> ha. How is that? How is. Noodle. Noodle biscuits. Great work. Because this message I is pre recorded, know. any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh. Well, okay. Ignore that noise it just made because it was pretty stupid. <laughs> okay, this is it. Prompt. <sighs> I, God, flippity. Okay, I'm done. See you all next week or whenever I release the next video. Bye.